Our son Andrew was a gay man, very openly gay and loud and proud about it while he lived here in Minneapolis. Of course, when he entered the military, he had to go back into the closet. He was a, um, a ver very peaceful person in many regards, and the stories, that, some of the stories that we've heard from his um, people in his unit um, indicate that he kept some people calm when things got rough. He ended up being the guard on bearer for his platoon. He got that honor for being the most physical fit man in the platoon. As, as I understand it, his PT score was 300. The commander was curious uh, what the hell Andrew Wilford was doing in the Army. His aptitude tests were off the charts. I guess the commander couldn't quite understand what a man like that wanted to be a grunt for. The entire platoon became indebted to him as a friend, a confidant, a support. People in his unit knew that he was gay, and their wives knew, and their girlfriends knew. People knew, and nobody cared. They, uh, I think he proved himself first that he was, you know, a hard worker, and he was a loyal friend, and he was gonna uh, take care of them when he could, and if he needed to, and gay part of it just didn't matter. The least interesting thing about him. Yep. He was a soldier's soldier. His, his, all of his commanding officers were struck by him. There was many a, an anecdote we heard about to a conversation with Andrew left you feeling dull. He was good for the people around him. The Army should be thankful they got him, and I think they are. They certainly express it to this family. To persist with this bias, this prejudice, whatever the basis may be, is a foolish thing. There is no gain. He thought he'd go uh, so that somebody else with family and children didn't have to go. The other man that was wounded is a family man. He was the sergeant commander of the vehicle. And uh, he's got a couple of kids. He's doing well. He's healing. We've seen, recently seen a photograph of him in his hospital bed with his kids there, and they all got big grins. So I guess Andrew got what he wanted. Um, it became pretty evident from the visit on Monday uh, that Andrew's, Andrew's body and the blast he took shielded and protected Sergeant Williams. The next thing I want to say is that the Army has been very good to this family. They have treated us well, they have been respectful, and they've been there for us. And I really do appreciate it. Uh, they took us to Dover for the return of his remains. That was very stirring to the root of our souls to stand there in the driving rain Soldiers don't die for our freedom of speech. They don't die for patriotism. They don't die for noble causes. They don't die for our political agendas. Soldiers die for each other. If the man, the woman to your right or left is doing their job, that's all that matters. Gender, race, creed, sexuality just aren't on their radar. Can they shoot straight? Can they take care of each other? Do they have your back? That's all a soldier cares about.